Have you or is there someone that you know that has lost a child, maybe a baby, uh, maybe a child that was eight or nine, ten years of age or a teenager for that case, that have gone on to be with the Lord? Where are they at right now? What are they doing? What's taking place? What about babies that have been aborted, the soul and spirit of a little aborted baby? Does it exist or as some people teach, it's just a blob of tissue until it becomes uh, a, a child and it's removed from the womb? Well, today, I have a very special guest on Manifest. We are doing a series on life after death. We're doing a series that involves people who have personally had experiences dealing with life after death themselves and have seen paradise. They've stepped out of their physical body to actually see firsthand paradise. I have with me today Bishop Earthquake Curtis Kelly and earthquake because he was a boxer. And I tell you, you look at this man, you can tell he could box. I'm glad he's on my side. <laughs> Bishop, thank you for being here. He thank pastors a, in the Cal state of California. And a friend of mine who used to work for USA Today called me and said, you've got to have this man on your program with his testimony. Now, I'm going to set this up for you. Bishop, you have been involved for many years in feeding poor people, inner city people. I mean, people that are drug dealers and drug addicts and prostitutions and you've ministered to the poor of the poor and the needy of the needy. You had a son that was 24 years of age and you were actually feeding people in the Watts district which is known mm -hmm. around the world as one of the toughest areas of the United States for gangs. And your son's car was carjacked and he was shot twice in the chest, killed mm -hmm. instantly on December the 7th, 1998. However, with the grief that you were experiencing, you yourself experienced a brain aneurysm mm -hmm. in which they didn't think you were going to live. And this was the year 2004 in December, right. is that correct? Right. And you were taken to the hospital. Now, I want you to pick up the, the hospital. We're not going to deal so much with the aneurysm and the pain because it was a terrible, you've t described to me the pain and the agony. But take it from there and tell us, just go with it, the experience that you had from that moment on I want I, people have got to hear this right when I got to the when I got to the hospital uh, my wife took me and they, they they put me right inside of the examination room of the hospital and I didn't know I had an aneurysm I just thought it was just a headache yeah and uh, they was examining me and they wanted to give me medication and so they did they gave me medication and the medication w didn't work something went wrong and actually it it, it forced the air out of my body Ooh. And I was actually feeling like my chest was being crushed. And Not I, a heart attack, but you couldn't breathe. I couldn't that, breathe. Yeah. It just actually took my, 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 I don't know what it did to me. But anyway, it just caused me not to be able to breathe. And I was fighting to breathe. And I can notice that the doctor and my wife was trying to help me. And I went into convulsions. And, and during that time, all the air left my body. I started falling down. I can see myself going into this horrible pit. Now you're a minister. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. not supposed to be happening. No, no. I'm going into this pit. I'm going into this pit, and I'm hollering and screaming, "God, how can this happen to me? How can this happen to me? I'm a man of God. I've served you. I've, I've done whatever you think you told me to do." And as I was going down, I can hear all of these screaming and yelling. And then I got to a certain point, and I stopped. Then I heard God say, "He said, I want you to hear and see what happens to people that die in hospitals around the world and don't have me." Mm, they die lost. In they died lost. Mm. And what happens to them? And he said, don't fear. He said, he said, this is just for you to come back as a warning for those that, 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 don't, know, that don't know me. Mm. And I started coming back mm. up, coming back up, and then he put me back in my body. And I could hear the doctors working on me, trying to get me to breathe. Did you hear what they were saying? I could hear everything, everything. the doctors and, and the nurses were saying. But I was, I would say, I'm here, I'm here, I'm alive, I'm here, I'm here. And, and they worked on me, and they worked on me, and they worked on me. And then after a while, they get stopped. It's, I could hear them say, there's nothing else we can do. Inside of you, your spirit was saying, I'm That's alive. Right. I'm but alive. you couldn't open your eyes couldn't, at all. Couldn't do nothing. Okay. Couldn't open my eyes. I, I couldn't even lift a finger. I was trying to get one finger. Yeah, to, to show it. Just, just nothing. And, and as I was there, I was, I was saying, I'm, I'm alive, I'm alive. And, and I could hear them starting to shut down the equipment everything they would just they give up and I heard God's voice says open your eyes and I tried to move my legs and everything he said open your eyes and when I opened my eyes there was one doctor that was mm -hmm. standing there and it was a, it was a female doctor he said welcome back we thought we had lost you and and then from there they they rushed me into another room and they put all the tubes and everything mm -hmm. inside of me mm -hmm. in intensive care okay now Follow up from that point a couple of days later, what happened in your room? Yeah, I was there in the room. 
I was I was praising God because he. But he, a lot of pain. He, he, oh, it was so much pain. They had to pack my head with two big blocks of ice, oh. and uh, my blood pressure was was high as any blood pressure should ever be, and it was painful. And they were they were checking me every 15 minutes. They said that I was that I was going to die again. Right. So every 15 minutes they had to check me around the clock, around right. the clock. And so a nurse came in and, and she said, yes, it's time for you to check again. And I said, well, can you turn it on a nice Christian channel? Because I don't want to see the cop shows and you shoot them yeah, up yeah. and all that. I said, I don't want to see that. I want to see some nice Christian channel. So she, she turned in and tried to find it, couldn't find it. I said, well, guess, just shut the door and uh, turn out the light. And while she did it, she said, okay, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. And when she, when she left the room, shut the door, I saw this big, golden, beautiful thing come into the room. You actually saw I it. I saw it. I'm looking right at it. It didn't make any noise. It settled at the foot of the bed. And they had me strapped down because I really couldn't move. And I sat up and I said, oh, man, that's so that's beautiful. What is that? And like a snap of a finger, I was, I, it lifted me out of the bed. Do you think your soul came out of your body yeah. at that point? Yeah. Like, right like Paul point. talks about in Second Corinthians right at 12. At that point, I, I, left, mm. I left the shell. Yeah. And I was looking down. I was looking down on myself, but I, at that point, I didn't recognize myself. I said, man, that guy's in bad shape. He's not going to make it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it was actually looking, Look I was at looking yourself. at myself. <laughs> and then a second later, I was, I was like I was taken with this big, beautiful golden thing into this beautiful garden. I saw trees. It'd take 10 men to hand to hand and wrap around. Perry, I saw, I saw blades of grass. That each blade of grass had a diamond, a jewel, and an emerald in it. I like on top of it or inside of the blade really was, and it, it was so manicured man better than any golf course uh, did you walk on it at first when I when I got there and I, like I, I'm six five when I got right. there was an angel he was, he was about seven feet and he <sighs> said he said go walk and I thought that the, the grass having the emerald in it would, would go through my foot so I was like, like cut it cut it yeah, yeah cut my foot he said no walk and as I walked on it, it was as soft as cotton. That is amazing. No, wo oh, no wonder the half hasn't been told. Oh, All right, now from that point, you said you actually st stepped into a realm somewhere in paradise and saw the river of life. Yes, as, as, I, Bible describes. as I kept walking, as, I, as Angel told me to walk, I kept walking. I saw a river, and, and it looked, and it, and it was, man, it was dancing to this, like music. Could you hear music? Oh, yeah, I could hear music. So I in other words, the singing. music, the, the water was kind of just flowing with the music. Right, with the music. <laughs> Right what did it look music. like? It looked like liquid diamonds. What a description. Ah, glory. What a description. Mm. Liquid diamonds. It looked like liquid like diamonds. Like melted diamonds. That's right. Like different rainbow different, colors. Different, different. Like All right, diamonds. what happened after that then? And as I, I was standing there, I didn't know, I got so excited. I wanted to put some in my pockets. <laughs> I wanted to drink some. I wanted to swim. Now, you know, naturally, I can't oh, swim. Yeah. But there, I felt like swimming. What about that? I mean, I was so excited to see that. I said, man, everybody ought to see this. Mm. You know, and then I could see the, the river was coming from this real big, beautiful uh, building. Like, they're coming right out of it. Mm -hmm. and, and I could hear the angels singing. Then I looked on the other side, and I saw my son. The one that had been killed. That's right. Did he look the same? Man, he looked, he looked good, man. Did he look good? Him, man. And did, I, did you pay attention to what he was wearing? I mean, was there a particular deal? Because I know sometimes you keep up on the person's face and you... I was so stuck on him, but I didn't see, I didn't see any white... Right, roll. Right, I didn't right. See in the long flowing. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 you I, just saw him. I saw him. Okay. What, what did you converse with him? Yes, I did. Re what happened? And I Tell said, "Hey," <laughs> I said, "Scott." He said, "Dad, Dad." <laughs> I said, "Is you?" He said, "Yes, Dad." He said, "This place is much more beautiful than, than you and Mom ever oh, told wow. me." I said, "Scott, can I? Can I?" <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Get on the other side. Would you? He said, no, Dad, you can't right now. You've got to go back. I said, no. I said, where's the boat? <laughs> I said, it's got to be a boat, man. So you're try what you're trying to do is get, get across the river where he is. Yeah, because I, I wanted to hug oh, him. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to hug him, man. You know, it's been since 1998 since I last seen him, and I wanted to hug him. So six years had passed with mm -hmm. his death. And does he look, he, but he looked the same, but you say he looked great. Yeah, he looked good. He and looked he knew you by name. He oh, knew yeah. you were Dad. Oh, yeah. Now, did he, did he talk about anything you were doing on earth, or did he tell you anything there? Yeah, he, he told me, he said, Dad, you remember when you made me that promise? When we were, you know, me being a boxer, right. he could hardly hit me. I was, I was smooth. Yeah, I would yeah. always tag him yeah, all yeah. the time, you know, and he could never get me. And we were boxing in the kitchen, and he stopped, and he gave me the biggest hug. Was this before he died? before he died. Okay. The day before he died. He oh, gave the me day this, before. The day wow. before he died, he gave wow. me this biggest hug. And he said, Dad, I want you to make me a promise. 
he was squeezing me so tight here I couldn't hardly breathe. I said, what's the matter? Something happened at work or something? He said, no, Dad, I want you to make me a promise that you would never stop, you and Mom would never stop preaching deliverance. You would never stop helping the drug addicts mm. and the gang members. Mm. And he said, if you don't make me that promise, I'm not going to turn you loose. And I said, mm. okay, 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 son. And he let me go. And I said, oh, man, well, are you okay? He said, he said, I'm okay. And I went the next day, I went to preach down in, um, down in Nevada, mm -hmm. preach revival in Nevada. Mm. And I got the worst call you ever get in your life. My wife told me that he was carjacked and he was shot in the chest point blank mm. twice. And uh, to, to see him in paradise, man. So he, he was, well, did he ask you what you were, if you're still doing? or He, he told me, he said, you have to keep doing. He said, you can't come in here because you're not finished. You got to <sighs> finish. You gave me your word that you was going to finish. Mm. You got to go back and finish. Now, did you see anybody else? Yeah, I saw, I saw some of the ministers that I knew, people that I who grew had, up who with. Who had passed away? Who had passed away that I went to their home going service. Mm. They also were on the other side. And they too said, you can't, you can't come, you got to go back. Do you think if you cross that river, you don't go back? Is that what you, the perception well, you have? Well, that's, that's what I thought. And that's why I was trying my best to get over it. <laughs> you, you want to stay there. <laughs> yeah, in. man. Okay, now you, you did see some children. Tell yes, us about yes. the children. As this, I, this, this really touched me when... As I was being pulled back towards that, that beautiful golden uh, thing that took me out of intensive care, I looked on the other side and there were children running. And uh, I said, wow, children, they were playing, man, they were having a good time. They, I wanted to go join and play with them. Mm. They were having such a great time. And I was standing there, this one I heard God speak, to, I heard mm -hmm. God's voice say, you wonder who those children are? Man? And I said, well, yes. You know, I didn't say it with my mouth. But he was thinking. reading your thoughts, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm just thinking it. And then it was, it was, it was about three different groups of children playing. Mm -hmm. Like children do down here too, you know, but they were playing. And he, and he told me, he, he said, one group was a group that died from, from, from wars. A group of children be killed in wars, oh. uh, 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 accidents, cancer. Were they from different nations? Yeah, oh yeah, all different wow. colors, all, every wow. color, every color you can imagine. He said, and, 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 I, and, he, and he, there was another group that was running and playing. Okay. And he said, that group over there were a group that was a, a children that were aborted. And they were sent back to me. Then I could hear, like, he started to cry. Like, God was, it, I could hear his voice starting to change. Like, it was, he was in so much pain and so much misery. Over that over, aspect. Over, over. He sent those children for people, and they sent them back sent them to back. him. Mm. But then there was another group that, he said there was another group playing, and he said this is a group of, of, of children that I sent to so he said so called church people who listened to the ways of the world secretly went and had abortion, and they sent them back. Oh, oh my! So in other words, he had grouped the children d mm -hmm. depending on what their situation the situation was. Situation was he grouped them? Okay, now you came. Was there anything else? Okay, now here's the, here's the part. Um, you shared with me that God spoke to you to send the church two warnings. Yes. I want everybody to pay very careful attention because this man has been into the presence of the Lord, literally, <laughs> not just his anointing, but the presence. I've got about eight minutes in, yes, that, in, that, in that time. Tell the two warnings God gave you. He gave me a warning. He said, he said, tell my people to repent. He said, they're not taking me serious as one. And the other one, he said, there are so many people who are holding things against me as if I've sinned. He said, there are people in the churches who have not forgiven me because I have not given them the things they wanted in the time that they wanted it, or I have not blessed their ministry to go as fast as an, another particular ministry, mm. or somebody they prayed for died, and, had, and, and said they're holding grudges in their mm. hearts against me. He said, until they forgive me, I cannot bless them to go forward. That is so, I preached a message years ago called Forgiving God, mm. and when you had shared that aspect with me, it just absolutely startled me because what God was saying was <clears throat> people pray and I don't give them what they want, when they want, how they want, and then mm -hmm. they get mad at me. Mm -hmm. And God told you, he said, I don't sin. That's They're right. blaming me like I sin, right. but I don't sin. never sin. And he said, people have got to release him right. to make it in. They're going to have to forgive God and release him and say, That's God, right. I'm sorry for how I felt about you. How about you? <laughs> okay, now the second one is very stirring. It's about ministry. Tell, tell that. He told me that. Now this, is, now this is in paradise. This is not in prayer. He right. went out of his body from the hospital after having the brain aneurysm, went out into the, out, out, literally. Yeah, I was gone. Soul and spirit goes out to heaven. He was gone, thought he had died, saw his son who'd been killed by gangs. He's in paradise hearing God say this. Now go ahead and tell us the second he also, part. He also, he said there's ministers who are living any way they want, 